Okay, hi. Uh, this is your instructor, Joe Crowley here. We're going to talk today about how to find information on JSTOR. Uh, so first, let's start with a question that you guys generated. Uh, this is from one of our students in our History 17B class, and he asked a great question. Uh, during the 1920s, a new society emerged in America. Consumer goods of all kinds proliferated and were marketed by salesmen that made every American think they had to have it. New installation plans allowed Americans to purchase virtually anything on credit and rapidly altered daily life. Telephones made communication easier and new home comforts such as washing machines, refrigerators, vacuum cleaners transformed the work in the home such that it reduced the demand of servants. Americans took vacations, entertained themselves, they headed to the movies and herds, and Hollywood exploded and became the entertainment mecca it is today, being that this caused widespread acceptance of going into debt. Would you consider this time period the most prosperous in U.S. history, or was this the beginning of trouble? Great question. So, what we're going to do is take a look at uh, JSTOR, and so I'm going to flip over here, and I've already got it queued up uh, to my Yuba College campus. Uh, you have a JSTOR login. Uh, there's a domain, uh, you put in your web advisor and your password. What is JSTOR? JSTOR stands for Journal Storage. What does that mean? Well, when we log in, I'll kind of show you. So here are all the different uh, genres of journals. So everything from African American studies, health sciences, psychology, zoology, uh, geography, business, British studies, on and on, on and on and on. So I'm going to type in uh, American uh, consumerism and see what pops up. So I click search and lo and behold it's showing me 25 relevant articles about American consumerism but there's 11,777 journal articles on this particular topic. Am I going to sort through all 11,777? No, I want to refine my search and that's the purpose of this video. So um, let's go to modify search and it'll bring you back to the original page. You want to click advanced search. And then to make matters easier, I'm going to make sure that I put in quotations American consumerism and it's just going to look for articles that uh, have that term somewhere in the text or the title. Um, that exact phrase, American consumerism. And I'm going to put uh, roots, the roots of American consumerism, because that's the question the student asked. So I'll hit search and we'll see what happens. Now we go all the way down to 94 journal articles. So I can still do uh, a little bit of refinement to even narrow it down a little bit. But let's see what we got. The Hand of Refined Taste in the Frontier Landscape, Carolyn Kirkland's A New Home, who will follow in the feminization of American consumerism. Maybe. Uh, the Cat in the Bank, Consumption and Production in Cultural History. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, consumerism versus producerism, a study in comparative law. Nah. So, uh, number five, ethnic cinema uh, in the Nickelodeon era in New York City, commerce, assimilation, and cultural identity. Um, so, there's some things here. So, I'm going to refine this a little bit more, though. And I want an article. That's the first thing I want. And then I'm would like to have something new. So I'm going to go 2000 to 2012 and then I'm going to add <coughs> a field and type in the 1920s. See, see what happens. Excuse me. Oh, hit the search button. And I'm down to 16 articles. Um, so again, consumerism, producerism, uh, a study in comparative law. I'm not really working on a law project, so I'm probably not going to click on that one. Uh, suburbanizing nature and naturalizing suburban nights. Outdoor living culture and landscape of growth. Eh, I don't think so. See, America the Bountiful, Buttes, Berkeley Pitt, and the American culture of consumption. 
Maybe, Magazine of Western History, A Man's Place in a Woman's World, Otto Dix, Social Dancing and the Constructions of Masculinity in Weimar, Germany. No, not that one. So you see, we've got um, some interesting things. This goes on to World War II from Tuscany to Tennessee, Viscan, the OWI, and the Construction of American Propaganda in World War II. Making consumption conspicuous, transgressive topics go mainstream. So there's some things here. Contact encounter, blah, blah, blah. A bit, president of the Great Silent Majority. I might start with um, some of these, see if they have a summary. Landscape architects, consumer magazines, and garden clubs promoted an outdoor living culture in the West that linked the home with the great outdoors. The analysis of outdoor living culture from the 1920s into the post-war decades reveals how rapid suburban growth and native newcomer tensions shaped the middle class environmental sensibilities and a new Western sense of place. But you see what I'm getting at? This is how you know, we can use JSTOR to kind of get to where it is that we want to go. Uh, here's, uh, again, the magazine of Western history, a little different. Let's see if there's a summary there. And sometimes there are no abstracts, in which case you'll have to uh, go straight to the PDF. A little thing comes up. Are you sure? Yes, I want to accept those terms. And then you have to wait for the PDF to actually kind of download. Now again, journal storage um, probably takes in uh, well over 600 different journals throughout the world. So we're not just talking the United States. It'll cover uh, histories concerning Canada, South America, Central America, Europe, the Far East, everywhere. It's journal storage is the place to go. It's a pretty rich environment. There are some journals that do not allow journal storage to show its contents, but they're few and far in between. You should be able to find just about anything in journal storage or JSTOR. So this is uh, about Montana. See America the Bountiful. So we know it's Buttes, Berkeley, Pitt, and the American Culture of Consumption. Scroll down a little bit. And uh-oh, there's a big pit. But it's talking about the um, 1950s. The great thing I like about these is you can find about anything that you wanted in this book. So Here's an ad. See, America the Bountiful served to transform the Berkeley Pit in a symbol of infinite abundance that made possible the American way of life. The Anaconda Company recognized the advantage of vertical integration as early as the 1920s. So uh, vertical integration is a topic that's economic. So uh, it might be something about consumption, but I doubt it. If I click again, uh, in the early 1920s, the Anaconda Company even adopted the slogan from mine to consumer. Ooh, so this might be something that you would want to use. Uh, it might be something that you would want to use uh, in your particular response post. Might even copy this and see if there's a footnote somewhere that explains it first footnote after that comes in number four. So uh, footnotes are pretty powerful too. So let's go down to where the footnotes are at. If we can kind of get there. And we see the Anaconda Copper Mining Company became the Anaconda Company 55C, Anaconda Company Annual Report. Not very helpful, but um, there are other sites uh, that will talk about Just, it's good to kind of scan these things because oftentimes you're going to find um, something that will allow you to uh, pick something up. And so um, you'll see a book referenced or another article referenced or anything. So if I go back to the original question, I can now reply. I can click in my uh, paste that I can answer. Um, seems to me that uh, corporate America pushed consumerism 
and dead. Ah. Populous found this quote. This is in reference to a Montana mining company. Source of that is the magazine of Western history. I'm just going to copy and paste that too. And I'm done. I've made my post. How about that? JSTOR. Pretty cool. Check it out. And uh, we'll catch you later.